What is going on, Gulf Coast Nation? Guys, welcome back to another bonus episode. That's right. In between our normal Tuesday action-packed episodes, we are bringing you guys these bonus episodes when we can to give you guys some helpful tips, hints, and tricks to help you guys have a more successful outing. This week, we're going to be going over how to set the drag on your conventional saltwater reels. We're going to go through the drag lever system as well as messing with your preset to get the best capabilities out of your lever drag. Let's do it. You Fish on, fish on. So like I said, this week we're going to be going over the conventional reels. This is an Avid TRX 80 narrow. It's not the 80 wide version, but this is going to be our test dummy today. We've already set the drag on this reel, but I'm going to kind of go through the functions with you guys, the do's, the don'ts, and how to get the best capability out of your reel. So if you guys look online, this specific reel gets about 100, 110, 116, something like that pounds at full. Um, the Avit, you know, another common reel is an Avit EXW80, which gets a max drag of 57 pounds at full, 50 pounds at strike. The Tiagra is rated at different, you know, the Tiagra, the pins, they're all pretty much the same setup right here. Um, a Loop Technos, Accurate Reels, they all have this little preset knob, and then they all work on a lever drag system. The, uh, the details are going to be a little bit different, but the, the whole message is going to be the same. So the thing that a lot of guys are doing is they're buying these reels. They're seeing that they can put out 60 pounds of drag, they can put out 100 pounds of drag. And so they think when they get them out of the box that they're just ready to go. Or guys, put them to strike, mess with the preset, put them to strike, pull hard and think that that's a lot of drag. If you can pull the drag with your hand, it is most likely 35 pounds or under. So... When you're shark fishing, land-based shark fishing, you want to be using drag upwards of 40 plus pounds. We like to use 65 pounds at strike, at full spool, and then get you know whatever you can out of full drag. On our Makaira 80 wides, we get about 88 pounds at full, 55 at strike. With this, we get about 60, 65 pounds of drag at strike, and then about 75 at full there, so not much difference there between the strike and the full drag but what you need a big tool here that you need is a hundred pound drag scale okay now getting it up to you know 50 60 pound drag scale would work but you need a scale to know exactly how much drag you cannot estimate especially shark fishing wise now if you're offshore fishing for amberjack or tuna or whatever it might work but then again you're only wanting to use 25 to 30 percent of your breaking your line breaking strength for tuna fishing so if you want to set your drag at 20 pounds for tuna fishing i wouldn't recommend going all the way out there spending all the money and gas to go after yellowfin tuna and then guessing that your drag is hopefully set right so go ahead and use a drag scale again at home set your presets right just like this all right so we're outside i went ahead and attached my scale here to the end of the trailer you can also loop it around a truck hitch um, preferably you have a buddy to uh, hold the scale and then you hold the rod that way they can watch um, what the drag setting is but i've got a real real simple process guys this is nothing nothing complicated it's just something you want to do so i've tied a loop knot here and i'm going to take the loop i'm going to attach it right to the end there make sure my scale is zeroed out you can use a digital scale, whatever really works. Um, just make sure it's accurate. And then we're gonna go ahead, walk back, make sure there's no tangles. 
Lever up to strike. And then you want to pull a little bit off the reel. So you don't want to go just till it barely pulls. You want to walk it back a good ways. Check it out. All right, so that's just about 60 pounds of drag right there. So I'm going to go one more click forward with the preset. And then I'm going to check what my half strike is, what my three quarter strike is, and then what my full is. That way I can know the entire range of what I'm fishing with. Alrighty, 60 pounds of strike. Now I'm going to check my full. It's just a lot easier with a buddy. Right at, right at 72 pounds. So I've got 60 pounds at strike, 55 pounds right here, and then I've got 72 pounds at full. So that's gonna make me happy. Let's go inside. So to go over the kind of basics of a lever drag system here, this is your lever. Obviously it goes up, down on the avets. You've got a couple stops here. This is kind of your set where you're gonna set your baits at. Up to strike, you can see that I can't push past it unless I push this in here and then I can go in that full drag range um, for Tiagras, for pins, for Alutechnos and Accurates. They all have a stop. Um, they're all a little bit different on how you get past them, but for the most part, everything's gonna have a stop at your strike drag setting. And that's what we set our hook at when we're running, when we're letting the shark run, letting the shark run, we're gonna push it all the way to strike and then it's gonna engage, and if we need to during the fight, we still have the capacity to go more drag if needed. What you don't wanna do is you don't wanna hook up to a giant fish and not have enough drag. So this is your preset knob, and when you get your reel in, most likely it's gonna be set at a really, really low drag setting. So you're gonna to want to up, turn, tighten your uh, preset knob, but the one thing you do not wanna do is do not mess with your preset knob while your lever is engaged. Always adjust your preset up or down while it's in free spool. And then also I wouldn't recommend messing with your preset much out on the beach, unless you have a Tiagra. Sometimes you have to mess with the preset to get it set right. Be sure to count your clicks so you can count back or up to your recommended strike setting there. Um, kind of like sighting in a rifle. You don't wanna mess with your rifle when you're out in the field. Once it's set, it's set. So once you get your preset set at home, just leave it. I'm gonna show you, I'm kind of walk through a little bit smaller reel. This is a Makaira 20 that we use offshore. Um, but that's how you set your, your drag basically there. Um, on these reels, like I said, it's all the same. You've got your preset here. You've got your strike setting on this Makaira. You have to push this little button in and then you can go to your full setting. Um, and then you should always, you know, only mess with your preset in free spool. Um, Never do it while the reel is engaged, but I like to know the entire drag ramp. Um, some reels like this, like the pins and the Makairas, they're labeled there with numbers. That way you know, okay, at number one, it's this, at number two, it's this many, at number three, this many, et cetera, et cetera. Um, you know, some of them like the Abbots, the Tiagras are not. Some guys like to put pieces of tape or put tape along that drag ramp and label them. Um, that's, that's really helpful as well. I just like to know, we pretty much set all of our reels the exact same. So right about 55 to 60 pounds at full spool, at strike, and then whatever we can get out of that reel at full would be, you know, it's just kind of out of your hands at that point. But we like to set our strike setting for land-based shark fishing right around 55 to 60 pounds. Um, that just ensures that we can put a lot of pressure on the fish. Sometimes we do set the hook on a really big fish and it's pulling at 60 pounds and we do go to full. Sometimes we're gonna put somebody, you know, you set the hook, it's not really pulling very hard. Um, it might be a bull shark, a black tip, a small tiger shark, etc. And uh, we've got a buddy in the harness, we've got a client in the harness on a charter and um, we're gonna go ahead and back that setting down to about 40, 45. So I like to know where my 40, 45 is because that's about the strike setting that somebody can hold by themselves. I cannot hold 60 pounds of drag for my, by myself. Adam cannot hold 60 pounds of drag by himself. There are very few people that, that fish in general that can hold 60 pounds of drag 
by themselves with a fish running, a dusky shark, a big hammer, etc. So when you set these settings, you need to know that you're gonna need a spotter. All right, so I'm about to set the hook. I'm gonna get a strike. I need to get a spotter near me, get somebody behind you on the belt, somebody in front of you on the rod. Um, that just makes sure that you're not gonna get drug out into the Gulf. But the reason we set these drags so heavy is because you need to fight these fish. We've got 200 braid, 200 pound braid, 200 pound mono on top, lots of drag. Get these fish in quick, get them out quick, all right? Our 12 foot seven tiger took about 15 minutes to get in because we hit her with a lot of drag. That way she comes in green, she comes in healthy. You're not fighting these fish for an hour, an hour and a half, two hours. That's ridiculous. That's how you kill sharks. Long fight times and poor release techniques is what kills sharks. They just die of exhaustion, guys. So be sure you're getting your reels spooled up right and take the time, like we did in this video, to set the drag on your reel. It's very important. Um, that way you're getting the best capabilities out of your reels and you're not guessing. Put, take the guesswork out of it. Um, get out there and have fun. This is actually a tuna reel right here that we're using, the Makaira 20. And um, it's got 80 pound braid. We top it with 100 pound mono when we're going out for amberjack. We top it with 60 pound mono when we're going out for tuna. Um, but we got this strike setting right here at 25. And then the, the full setting goes all the way to 37 pounds of drag. But we, uh, we like to set that about 25, 28 pounds for tuna. Seems to be the magic number not to pop that 80 when they're screaming really hard, making those big runs. So we set everything from our little reels all the way to our big reels on the scale. That way we know exactly the amount of drag we're fishing, exactly how much pressure we're putting on our line, putting on our reels, and putting on the angler. That way you guys can go out, have less line pop-offs, have, have less, oh, I got spooled, and uh, most importantly, have less dead sharks or any issues on the beach when you're shark fishing. So without further ado, I think that's going to wrap up this week's bonus episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys got something out of it. If you did, be sure to give us a thumbs up, drop a comment below, share it with your friends, and as always, we'll catch you guys next week. <laughs>